What is up guys, John the Retro Bro back again with another how-to video. Today I'm talking about how to get 3DO, the Panasonic 3DO, working on RetroArch, in particularly on PC and the Atari VCS. So the process is relatively the same across PC and Atari VCS. I'm on a PC, but this will work on your Atari. The VCS is powerful enough to play these. Uh, I have checked the stats of the Atari VCS and, and this will 100% play on the VCS. Uh, it is a little capable system, especially for emulation. So obviously we know the 3DO, very expensive system to buy for and collect for. The games are, are kind of out of out of line as far as prices go. Just one of those weird, obscure consoles. You can burn games and play them in your 3DO. That's an option. However, you still need the original hardware. This is your next best bet. So the first thing we're going to do is go into RetroArch. And we want to make sure we have the correct core downloaded. So we're going to go into core downloader. So you're going to go over here to your main setting. You're going to go to online updater, core downloader. And then you're going to go to the 3DO company. Click on this. This will install Opera for you. This is currently the only one that is working on RetroArch. It's a pretty good emulator. I'll show you some. Uh, tips and tricks on how you can make your games look even better later in this video. So the next thing you're going to want to do is on your folder or somewhere on your computer, you need to, uh, you should already have a ROMs folder with your BIOS in it. If you don't create a folder somewhere on your PC, and I'm using two BIOS file currently, I'm using goldstar.bin and 3do underscore arcade underscore saot dot bin. And I'll put a link in the description for you guys on where to get those. Uh, they're, they're, um, they're the BIOS that I've used and so far everything has worked. So grab those two BIOS files, put them in your BIOS folder, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scan your directory wherever your BIOS files are going to be currently in my ROMs folder and I have a BIOS files folder so I'm going to scan this directory this will scan all my BIOS files including the ones that you just put in there the goldstar.bin and the 3do arcade saot.bin and now the next thing we're obviously going to do is play some games but first you need games get your games in the right folder Again, mine is going to be in ROMs, and I have a Panasonic 3DO folder. And you can scan each one of them individually, or you could scan them as a, uh, as a scan the whole directory, whichever you'd like to do. So I'm using uh, bin and Q files. You can also use ISO files. Both will work. And then we're going to go play some games. So... Now, once you've done all of that, once you've scanned your 3DO BIOS game, 3, 3DO BIOS and games, you will then go back to your main on here, and you will see a nice little folder here for your 3DO games. Something I always like to do here is I'll click on this, I'll download the thumbnails. If they come up, sometimes they don't come up. I don't think they want to come up. Road Rash is there. Doesn't want to download. So, okay, first thing we do, obviously, a lot of people like Gex. Gex on the 3D. Gex was actually originally made on the 3DO. And we'll play some Gex, see how it runs. Now, I played the PlayStation version. There's the Saturn version. A lot of different versions for this game. The 3DO, in my opinion, is the best. You really notice the, the biggest difference on the original hardware, but this, I, I have played this on original hardware because uh, I do own a 3DO and this, this plays, this plays very, very good. Thank you. 
Right, here we are playing some Gex. I think it runs really well. Uh, I haven't messed around with uh, latency as far as run-ahead mode yet. I know sometimes when I'll use run-ahead mode on uh, PlayStation games, I'll get um, I'll get some weird bugs and glitches in the emulation. Let's actually try it here and see if it see if we have any issues with it. So let's turn run-ahead mode on. Actually, not even giving me the option, which is strange. Yep, run ahead unavailable. So weird, not uh, an option not utilized in an opera. So um, I mean, I, I don't really feel any input lag. I am using a Bluetooth controller. I probably would have much less with a um, a wired controller. All right, let's jump out of here. I want to show you how to make some of your 3DO, some of your 3D games on 3DO look look actually a lot better. So. We can go into the original Need for Speed, again, made for the Sonic 3DO. And I will show you guys how to make this look a lot better. So the first thing I'm actually going to do, yeah, we'll run it with the, with the features on, and then I'll turn them off so you guys can see it. We'll go right into a race here. Some very hokey, cheesy um, FMV videos on this. All right, so the first thing you're going you're gonna to do is when you go into this it's going to look like this so i have these options turned on currently so it's going to start on hardware like this it's going to look like this it's going to look like ass so it looks choppy looks blocky so and it's it's real obvious on the the 27 inch monitor i'm using so go into your quick menu here whatever your hotkey is you're going to do two turn two things on you're going to turn your high res rendering on in this Mata Matrix engine. This uh, will improve the speed on a lot of games, so it'll actually run faster. Uh, you have run it at a higher frame rate than it would on than original hardware. And then out of your menu, and you can see how much better it looks now. So this isn't the best need for speed. Uh, it's, it's an interesting game. It's more of like a... Um, cruise around the countryside type thing. There's different types of vehicles you can use. Um, but this looks really good, in my opinion. You gotta remember, this game came out in, I believe, like, 1994. So, I mean, you think about the 3DO, and, man, it was so expensive. It's like, well, it really was a, a high-powered console back in the day because you have a game like this on a 3DO, but then you have Road Rash and some of the racing games that we're used to seeing on, you know, the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. So this really was, you know, this was a 32-bit console pretty much in the 4th gen. I mean, it wasn't really a 5th gen console. It was, but it wasn't. You know, it was an early 5th gen console, but but really it competed a lot with um, the 4th gen in the in the later area. And it's just, the t in my opinion, just the timing was wrong on it. So let's back out of this. There's one more game I want to show. Uh, my favorite version of Road Rash is on the 3DO. And I grew up and I played this original version on PC back in the day. And this version is even better, even better than the PC version. You know, you have the Saturn version. So the Saturn version is probably one of the worst. As much as I love the Saturn, it's, um, it's definitely. Now again, I have the I have that high res rendering turned on, so this looks even better than what it would on original hardware. And again, this is one that I've played on original hardware. I don't experience any latency. It plays well. I haven't experienced any bugs yet. I've played through a couple different uh, races and matches, and it looks great. So uh, check it out. Uh, like I said, I'll leave links to the proper BIOS. The biggest thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have that right BIOS. And for a long time, I struggled to, to get 3DO working. That's why I made this video. Because, uh, you know, I, I, like to, I like to stream and I like to play 3DO. And sometimes it's easier to just do everything from my PC. So, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, share the video. Obviously, if you like it, smash the like button as they say.
If you have any questions, uh, drop a comment below. Hopefully everything works out for you. But if not, drop, drop a comment, question, try and help you out. Until next time, guys, do you even 3DO, bro? See you on the next video.